All right, let's send you around over to Peter Hall. He joins us live on the weather deck. And Peter, what type of pancake person are you? Plain chocolate chip, bananas? Yeah, definitely <laughs> chocolate chip, or have you ever had strawberries in it? It actually Ooh. caramelizes them. They're very good. Okay. And All the right. reason why I'm pointing at you with this is we're gonna, if, do you know where this is? We haven't had to use it very often, but. No, we haven't. <laughs> you're gonna have to do a lot of this. <laughs> That's going to be really loud, and you're going to hear that a lot tomorrow, late afternoon and evening, because we've got a mess coming our way. Let's get right to road conditions so you know what to expect. Now, yes, we've had a gusty wind today. We've had some passing rain or snow showers, but let's talk about road impacts so you can plan ahead to know what's coming next. Overnight, uh, some passing minor light snow showers and flurries, and even during parts of the first half or two-thirds of tomorrow, we'll have that as well, which is not a problem. That's why we're in green. But notice the alerts and the oranges. From southwest to northeast during the afternoon, there will be some steady snow that develops across the area. Southern Tier, Southern Finger Lakes, into the central and southern tier, into central New York. And for a while, some accumulating snow is likely. That's going to make the late afternoon rush tough. It's also going to create some havoc Wednesday night as we go over from snow to sleet and freezing rain. What that's going to do is probably limit for most of central New York the amount of snow we get. So if you're looking for like a ton of snow, you got to go far northern New York unless something changes, as I think a wintry mix is probably the preferred precipitation for most of the immediate central New York area. Now Thursday, there'll be some leftover drizzle. The only reason why I have us in yellow here is there still might be a few spots below freezing, especially up north where it'll be slick and icy. And then Late Thursday night through Friday night, there'll be some passing snow showers and some accumulating snow, but we'll get to that in a minute. First things first, again, right now on the Fossil Service Experts Live Triple Doppler Radar, you see a couple of passing snow and rain showers, and again, little to no accumulation. And we're pretty quiet overnight with a diminishing wind. A chance of a red sky at morning, sailors take warning sky with a pretty sunrise before clouds thicken. And let's talk about the widespread snow that's going to develop. The first flakes of snow, this is not a big deal midday. It's over here, that dark blue, there you go, 3 p.m. Check it out, around Route 20 south for the Finger Lakes and Southern Tier, that's when it starts snowing harder, and then moving into central New York during the late afternoon. That's why I was referencing that late afternoon rush. It's going to be difficult. Also notice the pink, that's the sleet moving in. So it's not going to be a long-duration snow event, I think, for most of central New York, the way I see it. And then going to sleet and even some freezing rain, far northern New York and the northern Adirondacks have the best chance of staying is mostly snow. Now remember, that first batch of precipitation is out of the way, so that Thursday is just kind of a murky day with clouds and drizzle. So how much snow are we talking about? The way I see it, there's going to be a huge difference from north to south in New York State. Messina, that's the best chance. Even Ogdensburg, about 12 inches of snow in far northern New York. Far southern New York, and we're not talking about New York City, we're talking about near the New York-Pennsylvania border, Route 17, might get an inch or less. Sandwiched in between is us here in central New York. 1 to 3, 3 to 6, 6 to 12, pick your spot, more to the north, less of the south. And remember, whatever you do get, once you get that sleet and freezing rain mixing in, that's going to cause an icy, sloppy, slushy mess that's going to compact and make things a little icy before temperatures go above freezing. Again, the amount of ice is not horrendous, but it will make it a mess. Remember, Thursday is kind of drizzly, late day steadier showers. And then Thursday night, Friday, and Friday night, we will get colder. An opportunity for an inch or two of snow by Friday morning, another inch or two of snow during the day Friday, and another inch or two or three Friday night. So we'll nickel and dime our way to some accumulating snow between Thursday night and Friday night, and pretty cold with flurries developing Saturday and leftover snow showers Sunday. Stanley Law Skywatch. Adirondack Furniture Camera showing that things are pretty quiet for now, but get ready as that new system comes our way tomorrow afternoon through tomorrow night back inside.